Uh, yes, Micah, it uh, was quite a moving vigil tonight. Now, this ER nurse, she was remembered for her compassion and also for her unmatched dedication to her patients. Your compassion for your patients and our ED family is what we will dearly miss. There were memories shared, candles lit, and tears shed for ER nurse Sandra Shells by friends, family, and her County USC Medical Center co-workers. An honor to work with her. She was always welcoming. Sorry. Uh, you will have never met a kinder person, a kinder nurse. They gathered back at the scene where seven-year-old Shells was killed last Thursday on her way to work. Police say as she was waiting for a bus at a stop near Union Station, a transient came up and sucker punched her. She fell backwards and hit her head. She died three days later at the same hospital where she worked for nearly four decades. When she was a team player, um, just an all-out fantastic nurse. Ironically, co-workers tell us many of the patients Shells cared for in the ER were homeless. She took care of most of the homeless people that came into the hospital. Now a homeless man is sitting behind bars, accused of killing her. Police say he has a lengthy criminal history in several states. You know, the homeless problem is a problem for society at large. And unfortunately, it often takes an extraordinary and often traumatic and tragic event, like what happened to my cousin Sandra, to get our attention. Several LAPD officers attended the vigil to offer condolences and support. They, too, want to see justice in this case. I've been asked a number of times, why did you let someone go? We're not in the let them go business. Those are decisions that are made at the policy level by other individuals in the criminal justice system. As for Bell, he was in court yesterday being charged in connection to Shell's death. He's due back in court on February 9th. For now, reporting live here in downtown LA, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio.